Hi boys and girls, yes it's a garage video today, garage vlog, unfortunately the weather in the UK isn't the best and as my bike is pristinely clean I do not want it covered in salt or anything like that so uh, yes it's a garage queen and yes I'm a fair weather rider as you all know anyway I thought today we'll just discuss what I've spent on this bike since I've owned it so it's, by the time this video goes out I've probably had it 10 11 months so um, yeah time flies when you're having fun eh so yeah, I just want to go what I've fitted, what I've done so far, any future mods, things like that, which I might actually do. Um, yeah, so it's a little garage update, but also of how much I've actually spent so far and where I tend to buy most of my stuff. So this is a bit of paper, which has got it all on. So I'm going to start from the top of the list from when I was thinking, well, what have I done and how much have I spent? Anyway, first of all, you've seen the latest video, I fitted an X-pipe. Uh, pain in the ass, by the way. <laughs> uh, I managed to get that for £55 delivered, uh, eBay. It's a tech uh, bike part, so I think they're about 100 odd quid. Um, so yeah, so £55 delivered, happy days. So that was £55. I then bought the Predator Pro slip-ons. Now they were from America, so I had to get them imported over. To the UK, um, so all together, um, I bought the quiet course, which go in the end off to keep it quiet if I want to. Also, you get two of them. They were twenty nine ninety five US dollars. So the expert was fifty five. The Predator Pros and the quiet core system, they come to six hundred and fourteen seventy one pounds by the time they were shipped over to me. Now that's not bad when you think the Pants and Hines are probably about that anyway in, in America. In America, in the UK, if I'm trying to deal it, if you can get hold of them. So they look very similar from, yeah, brilliant quality. So I'm really pleased with them. So that is actually the most expensive thing I've done on the bike to date. Now I didn't have a radiator guard when I first got the bike. Um, I know in different parts of the country, some come standard, some don't. On this one, which was a late registered 2021 bike, obviously based on the 2019 Euro 4 bike, as you know, um, I managed to get one on eBay. Lucky winner, uh, £44 delivered, absolutely pristine, not even a mark on it, so uh, I'm sure it's got a few stone chips since I've had it. Um, my daughters are filming this, by the way, so they're, they're messing around in the garage, so uh, <laughs> beautiful having a five and a than a seven-year-old daughter. Um, so yes, yeah, so I've got a radio guard. Obviously, the amount of muck the front wheel kicks up, I would definitely expect that if you're buying a new one or get a used one, then you can get RNG and things like that. So yeah, that cost me £44. And um, I then bought the tail tidy, which there was a video on down there. And so that was £34.95. That was off eBay. Um, the brand, if you go back to my videos, you'll be able to see that. I think it's JTech. Um, I can put a link in the description on that one. Um, nice and plug and play that was, so nice and easy. So yeah, £34.95 was spent on that. I also fit in my quad lock. Uh, since my quad lock uh, video, I have uh, bought the vibration damper. Um, my Mine was absolutely fine. I've not had any issues on the camera. In fact, my daughter's filming on it now. So it's not caused me any issues on my camera. However, I did notice the screen was lighting up for no reason on a couple of rides over like bumps and stuff. So it obviously is a bit more vibrate this bike than my MT07 was. So I did invest 1999 on the quad lock dampener. Uh, the quad lock bike lock sort of system with the red lever, which I paid extra. Um, I paid 7.95 extra for the uh, red lever. So the handlebar mount and stuff was 39.95. 7.95 for that. So all in all, the quad lock system I got there was £63.10. I did get a 10 cent discount, however, so I've just had to take the prices off online. I can't find where I put the invoice to be honest. Um, uh, so that was that. Uh, I bought a tank pack straight away when I ordered the bike. That was £34.99. And um, that was from a Triumph dealer. Um, do, 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 do. I bought the sump guard. Uh, which was £37.50 off eBay and um, yeah that was absolutely good condition and um, so yeah definitely worth it I think the Triumph ones are like £89 
so yeah, good saving on that. Um, and I bought the next more expensive option was like the RNG crash protection bungs, which I put on the sides of the bike down there. I've done a video on the um, sort of protection uh, video on that. Uh, they were £127. I got them off uh, eBay as well. As you can tell, I like a, I like to go on eBay. Oh, most of the stuff I've been mentioning is brand new, apart from the radiator guard, the sump guard or bash guard, whatever you want to call it. X pipe was brand new, although it was bought, it was never fitted. So you know, it's a new bike. I don't want to put tatty old parts on it. So yeah, I'm a bit picky what I do choose, but. I'm not including in this count the LT1 uh, tank bag or anything like that because it's just something I would have bought anyway. But if I was, that was another £70. But yeah, all in all, um, everything else I already had anyway. So yeah, it comes to just over a grand, £1,012. Now, that sounds like an awful lot of money, but I love messing around with my bikes. Um, so yeah, and now the bike's kind of perfect. Um, sort of future mods, what am I thinking? Uh, front fork brace, I think that's about 80, 90 pound. I'm tempted to go for one of them. Um, but it'd be, well, if I do, it's just cause I've got some bit of disposable income. Um, screen or no screen, you saw that video, I'm still up in arms. I quite like the MT Motec, the silver aluminium uh, little one, uh, little, uh, windshield however I'm still not sold whether it's worth it or not because I do like the naked classic looks so they're the two mods which I may or may not do but best for one because I haven't rode the bike much since I've done the x-pipe I'm really going to uh, enjoy the bike for them the only thing I didn't mention was the battery I did a replacement which you would have seen probably in the last video uh, that was £47 pound from the sports bike shop, so that wasn't included in that. However, that was not a modification in my sense. Yes, it was just keeping up maintenance, so I could just take to Triumph, but the wearer how it was, like I said in the other video, I haven't. I will have a word with them when the bike goes into its service in about May time, um, and see if, you know, they'll give me another battery. Always plumb the old rubbish one back in, can't I? <laughs> and go, oh, it doesn't work. <laughs> but um, if not, it's £47, pound, and that's £47, pound, which was worth it in my eyes. It starts on the button now. Um, yeah, so that's all this video was. It was just sort of like, you know, these things all add up. Um, but it's all part of uh, the bike experience, and I, I love doing all that sort of stuff. So... Uh, all of it's reversible, so you can make your money back towards the end. You never make everything back, but you can. Um, you, if you break it, put it back to stock, then you do tend to... Uh, if you sell the bike with the bits, you won't get any more, really, for your bike. Um, you know, it's all personalised choice. And these bikes are very personal on what you want to option. I've never done the blingy things, like the black cases on here or anything. Um, I quite like how it is, but this is where bikes can get out of control on what you spend. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to leave it as that, guys. I will see you on the next one. If you like and subscribe, and thanks to my my daughter Liddy who's done this filming. You may hear her giggling in the background, but if you haven't, uh, please like and subscribe, as I said, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.